Hi and welcome to Data Garden. Thanks for checking out my video. I hope you're doing very well. Today I have a quick R tip for you, and that is calling a script within another script using the source command. And I will show you a quick example of how to do this with a typical startup script. Now, I think most people using R, they are a bit annoyed by the typical startup procedure of a new project where you have to use the library command several times and you load the same packages every time and uh, maybe you set some options for the project and maybe uh, you will also create some lists that you use to organize your workspace. And with each project that you start you have to do the same steps and if you're like me then you would like to simplify this and today I will show you how to simplify it to one single command. Now, what I will first do is I will start a new R script. And then I will start typing the things that I would typically do in a new project. Now, notice that this is just an example, but uh, you will have to find out for yourself what are the things that you typically always need to do at the beginning of a new project. Now, the first thing that I would do is I would load some libraries. Let's say that we want to use uh, readxl, dplyr, and uh, car. So let's say library uh, readxl. Okay, next line, library uh, dplyr, and finally library car. Now let's say we also don't like the standard way that R outputs numbers. So we want to use the SIPAN option and we want to set it to a high number so that we don't get the scientific notation with the exponent. So let's use uh, options SIPAN equals let's say 999. I think that should be high enough. In case you don't know this, um, I highly recommend that you look into the um, help file for options. I think it's a really useful command for uh, making your R output a bit more understandable. And then finally, let's say that we want to create three lists, one for input, one for working sets, and one for output, into which for each project that we do, we sort all the files that we use into these, uh, into these lists so that we uh, get a more easy overview of our workspace. So let's uh, do it like this, where we do a list called input, and uh, yeah, we define it as an empty list. Then we use a name called working, it's also an empty list. And finally, um, output, and that's also an empty list. Now, notice I haven't run anything of this yet, but now I'm going to save this file as, uh, let's say we call it um, startup.r. Now, in my case, I already have the file because I prepared this uh, video earlier, and I'm going to replace it. Then I'm going to create a new r file, a new r script that is, and I'm going to use the command source start up dot r and we actually have to put it into quotation marks otherwise it's not going to work similar to how you would uh, read let's say an excel file in read excel now you can also put a pass here in case the startup file is not in your working directory press run and we see here are our lists here is the uh, output for attaching the packages and everything is done. Now two notes on this before I leave you with this uh, command for experiment. The first is you can of course also define longer procedures within a script and call it in a different script via source. This has the uh, advantage of making your scripts much more um, easy to read, like more um, more organized, but it has a disadvantage 
that intermediate output will not be printed. For example, let's say we add a code called uh, 1 plus 1 and I'm going to save and I let this code run again and we see it didn't give an output. If instead I do print 1 plus 1, I'm going to save it again and press oh, press run and then I get the output uh, of 2. So you have to use the print command if you actually want to get an output shown in the console from uh, calling a script your source. That is number one. The second thing is, uh, like I just said, if you just type it like this, it only works if the um, script that you're calling is within the same directory that you're currently working in. Otherwise, you're going to have to add a pass here, such as uh, um, I guess most of you will be on Windows, so it would be like C, uh, I guess, um, users, and something like this, you know. So you have to add the, um, the path to which you want to, uh, from which you want to call the script into the command. Now, if you use, uh, I guess, as a final note, if you use special characters, because let's say uh, I'm from Germany and we have the uh, A, O, and U with the dots on it, then I recommend that you will use uh, file and uh, save with encoding and use a special encoding such as Latin 1, otherwise calling the script will cause complications as well. So these are three little things uh, to take uh, care of when using source scripts. I hope that you find this quite useful, maybe for your starting up of a project, but maybe in other fields as well. If you do find it useful, then please consider giving this video a thumbs up. If you want to see more R quick tips, then please subscribe to the channel, because I have more videos coming up very soon. Thanks for watching, and bye-bye.